Hello everyone, we are so excited to show you another thrift flip by turning this ordinary planter pot into a faux terracotta for your home or garden. We're using the IOD Viridis Mold and Amazing Casting Resin. Follow the instructions and mix your resin to a 1 to 1 ratio. You can follow the measurement guides conveniently located on the mold itself to tell you just how much you need, and a regular kitchen scale works great for this. You want to make sure that you mix the resin very thoroughly for about 30 seconds and we used a popsicle stick since you're going to want to use something disposable to stir it with since the resin is going to stick onto it. While waiting for the resin to cure, it's important to note that you don't want the resin to harden completely since the planter is a curved surface. You want to make sure that the resin is still bendable and pliable when you take it out. You should know it's ready at this point when it turns white, but is still a little bit warm to the touch. While waiting for the molds to cure, we can start with the plastic planter pot that Sally picked up at the thrift store. It has a very slick, silvery surface, so we wanted to start out by scuffing it up with a sander and applying a coat of primer just to give our paint a better chance of holding on without chipping. Once the primer has dried, we're going to apply the molds, make sure that they are still pliable and warm. Go ahead and hold your castings to the surface and allow them to take the shape of the planter. Once they are cooled down, you can take them off and go ahead and apply your tight bond glue and then reapply and allow to dry. If you love these molds just as much as we do, head to our website, ironorchidesigns.com, to find the stockist nearest to you. The tight bond glue does dry clear, but if you have excessive leakage after firmly pressing the mold onto the surface, go ahead and take any sort of tool or a paper towel works as well and carefully remove all of the excess glue that seeped out from under the mold. Once the glue has dried, we are going to paint. So we were going for a vintage terracotta look for our planter, and we did not have a terracotta color on hand, so we mixed some colors together to get the richness we wanted. We used a ratio of half deep brown, one fourth red, one fourth orange, and mixed it really well. Of course, if you have a terracotta color on hand, just do whatever works best for you. And we are using chalk paint here, but remember there are so many different kinds of paints and brands of paints out there that you can use. Get in touch with your local stockist to figure out which brand and type of paint is best for you. We want to age this terracotta to make it look more realistic and more vintage, so we added a wash with two parts water to one part soft white chalk paint, and we mixed it thoroughly. You want to use a chippy brush and a damp paper towel to have nearby when you get started. Brush on your wash and then blot with a paper towel to achieve a natural texture and allow this to dry.
Once you have aged the planter to your liking, we did notice that there was some paint and wash that did seep into the inside of the planter. So just take some black chalk paint and clean up the inside of the pot. For our final touch, for a little extra detail, we wanted it a little extra drippy just like you would find on a real old terracotta. Take your chippy brush with the wash from earlier and dab into the molds along the top, allowing the wash to run down naturally and give it this more aged vintage feel. Once you are happy with your project, you now have a wonderful new yet vintage addition for your home or garden. We would love to see what you guys do with this project, so make sure to follow us on Facebook and like this video for more thrift flip transformations and DIY tutorials.